this is Karen. Welcome back, everybody. This is Shane. Today we're looking at part two of a short history of the humble scone, and the vocabulary words are flower. Flower. With flour all over his face and hands, Joe took the bread out of the oven. Raisin. Raisin. Claire hates raisin cookies, so maybe get her chocolate ones instead. Good idea.、Mm. Plain. Plain. Our school served us plain chicken with rice for lunch today. Grab. Grab. Go grab some drinks from the fridge before we go. Good idea. Confuse. Confuse. The directions you sent Hannah confused her. Really, Hannah's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> They were perfect directions. Really? Yeah, it was directions to my favorite place to get scones. Really?、Yeah. Okay. Well, is there any way that you can tell us how scones are made? I mean,、mm. I know you bake, right? I do some baking. But I wouldn't say I'm like a, like really awesome at baking. <laughs>、uh, it just has flour. Do you know what's in it? I bet you can guess. Flour. Well,、um, flour, eggs, eggs milk, milk, butter. That's it. Basically speaking. Baking powder. Right, and baking powder. That's right. And I think that's kind of the modern scone, which makes it different from the scones in like the 1500s.、Mm -hmm. They didn't have baking powder back then. Okay. So they probably wouldn't be as fluffy and light as they are now.、Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have had maybe ones with not so much baking powder in them. Ah, because too dry. They were dry and not very fluffy and light. But scones can be made savory. Yeah, like salty. Yeah, like cheese scones. Oh. Yeah, you can have sweet ones like maple from、wow. Canada. Right? <gasps> That's right. Oh, there used to be a really delicious scone that I would eat called a maple scone. So that's with maple syrup. It's yeah, like a maple glaze on top. Nice. Okay, that sounds pretty delicious. So great. Yes.、Mm. Okay. All, all we did was just talk about how yummy scones were. Mm -hmm. so, so, if you want to know more about the history, more know about more know more about scones, then go ahead and read along. Okay, enjoy today's lesson. Enjoy. A short history of the humble scone. Modern scones start with dough made from flour, egg, baking powder, milk, and butter. Scones are traditionally sweet, though they can also be savory depending on what else you include. Cheese is common, so are raisins. If you're drinking a classic English cream tea, a plain scone with cream and jam goes best with it. But the order matters too. People in some regions of England insist on adding cream first, while those in other regions always start with jam. Today's lesson is called "A Short History of the Humble Scone," Part Two. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Yes, we're learning about scones—little biscuits that people eat at tea time. Well, at, any time,、uh, but yeah. traditionally tea time. Tea time.、Yeah. That's right. We learned that they were first created back in the 1500s, probably, or at least this word was used. It might have come from the Dutch. It might have come from Scottish Gaelic, but it was about a type of simple bread that was made in large pieces. Cut into triangles, and then they had baking powder, and they made the little round biscuits that we think of、mm. today. So let's say you wanted to recreate a little bit of cooking history in your own kitchen right now in the 21st century. How would you go about it? You well, can't just order、uh, these things. Well, you could, but save yourself the money and make them yourself. What do you do? Okay. Where do you start? Okay, I'll I'll,、uh -huh. I'll give、uh -huh. that a thought. But、uh -huh. one thing's for sure,、uh -huh. scones、yeah. came from Scotland,、yeah. and you know what? Those original scones that they made there,、uh -huh. they didn't sound very good.、Uh -huh. I want to eat one of those modern scones,、yeah. and modern scones start with dough made from flour, egg, baking powder. You gotta have that.、Mm -hmm. Milk, and then butter. Okay, kind of like cookies. Basically, a scone is like a cookie muffin biscuit thing.、Yeah. Anyways, here we've got the word flour to talk about. It's a noun. Okay, when you make bread, 
You've got to have flour. You take wheat and you crush it down into a fine white powder that, when you mix it with water, turns into dough. And then when you add yeast, yeast I should say, and some other stuff, and you bake that all together, you got yourself bread. Yes, flour. F L O U R. That's what you make bread with for the most part. Although you can also make your、uh, scones with flour. For example. With flour all over his face and hands, Joe took the bread out of the oven. It says here scones are traditionally sweet,、mm. though they can also be savory, depending on what else you include.、Mm. Yeah, those are some good words. Sweet, of course, means it's got a, a sugar-like taste, right? We think of cakes and desserts. As being sweet, savory is another great word to use when talking about food. It means a little bit more salty, kind of a salty or meaty type or of maybe, flavor. Maybe a little bit spicy too.、Yeah, yeah. Possibly a little spicy, but generally when talking about food, it's kind of a sweet or a salty type of thing.、Yeah. So if you put in a little bit more salt than sugar, you might have more of a savory、right. type scone. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on.、Mm. Now, let's say you do have a really lousy. Scone that tastes like cardboard. Hey, why not add something to it like、uh, fire, ooh, cheese?、Oh, I think just yeah, burn it. <laughs> just, just burn it like peat moss or something like yeah, that. Yeah, just anyway, burn it yeah. in a fire and then buy a better <laughs> anyway, scone. Or you can add some cheese. Cheese is common. Sure. And so are raisins.、Oh. And that oh, strike two for me. Cardboard scones.、Mm-hmm. Eh, huh? Raisins. Oh. I have never liked raisins unless they're a part of Raisin Bran cereal. Raisins are ruined grapes. What about chocolate-covered raisins? Just eat the chocolate. Why do you need to put the raisin on the inside? Jeez, okay, all right. So there you go. Cheese. You can add cheese to your scones. That would make them savory because cheese is kind of salty tasting. But if you want it to be a little sweet, maybe add some raisins because, as you say, raisins are just ruined grapes, dead grapes. They're not dead grapes. They're dried grapes. You take the water out. You get this sweet little wrinkled package、It's、stuck in your teeth. Yeah, they're yeah. not that yeah. bad, and they're generally Generally used in desserts or other kind of sweet things. Although you can put raisins on a salad, but not for Jeff. For example, Claire, who might be related to you, Claire hates raisin cookies. So maybe get her chocolate ones instead. A good raisin and oatmeal cookie. It's nice compared to a chocolate chip cookie. Are you? Kidding? Right, not we're、like、talking、raisins. about a totally different level of、okay. flavor. Okay, but actually, you're not that strange. I know lots of people don't raisins. Like raisins. I don't like raisins. All right, anyways, but anyway, let's anyway, get back to let's scones get back and tea. To the scones.、Yes. Apparently, you don't eat the cardboard scone no. alone. No. If you're drinking a classic English cream tea,、mm-hmm. a plain scone with cream and jam goes best with it. Now. Earlier, I said you've got a scone and it tastes like cardboard. I was joking. When sometimes when people say things taste like cardboard, they're saying that they don't really have a flavor to them. Okay, and a plain scone might not have much of a flavor to、True. it. If something is plain, it's simple and usually unadorned. There aren't other things added to it. It's just yeah, simple and boring. For example. Our school served us plain chicken with rice for lunch today. Not even a sauce, just chicken and then rice, and that was that. Very plain. All right, let's get back to our scones with cream and jam. That's the way you might have it when you're having English tea. Now, this is interesting. It says, but the order. Matters too. The order—that's sort of like what do you put on top of what? You know, when you're making yourself a piece of toast, you you toast the toast, you cook the toast, make it nice and brown, and then you don't put the peanut butter on with the butter on top. That would be weird. You put some butter on, and then the peanut butter or the jam or something on top of that, right? The order matters. You don't put the ketchup on top of the bread and your hamburger. You put the ketchup under the bread. The order matters too. So people in some regions of England insist on adding cream first, while those in other regions always start with jam and then put the cream on top. Those are called normal people because they do it in the Cornish way from Cornwall. 
The other way, putting cream first and then jam on top, that's the weird way. That's the Devon way, and normal people don't do that. Do it the Cornish way. Uh, jam, then cream. Otherwise, I, it's a mess. I'm from America, and mm -hmm. I, I just don't care at all right now. You will when it goes down I your shirt. I couldn't possibly care less. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but when we come back, we'll be eating scans, jam and cream, all, all is important. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny. 我们在第一天课文学到思康,scone的起源. 如果你想要在自家厨房让这种英式点心重现, 该怎么做呢? 别担心, 今天的课文就是要介绍现代思康的做法和吃法。Mike老师在开场的时候用到recreate这个字就可以表达再创造或是重现的意思 我们来看两个单字 flower flower 它表示面粉是不可数名词那面粉把它做成面团的时候呢可能还会需要加酵母加法是说的 yeast y e a s t yeast 表示酵母或是酵母菌下一个单字 raisin Raisin 表示葡萄干 那么有些燕麦饼干里面有含葡萄干 很好吃嘛 那Mike老师有说到这个 Oatmeal Oatmeal 就是指燕麦片或是燕麦粥 那这个字是拼作 O-A-T-M-E-A-L 好那这边再来看两个重点 第一个是 Though 在这边是当连接词表示虽然尽管 例如 Though it was cold They went for a walk 尽管天气寒冷 他们还是去散步了 第二个重点 what else 在这边是指还有什么意思就跟 what other things 差不多 那么 else 常常会接在 what someone anywhere 等等字的后面 像是 what else someone else anywhere else 等等 那么 else 就是表达其他的别的 例如 what else do you know about her 你还知道还有什么其他关于她的事吗 好，那么课文接着就提到经典的英国奶油茶点，叫做cream tea，它是一种下午茶组合，是有茶，还有那种富有凝块鲜奶油和果酱的原味司康所组成的。那吃的时候你要特别留意放鲜奶油和放果酱的顺序哦。像在英格兰的西南部，有两个相邻的郡，
how you should eat them and in what in what order you should add the in, the toppings and stuff like that. You just eat it. That's right, but that's an important, delicious. that's an important point though. You're eating it with gravy, which is kind of a meat sauce, right? So that's a little saltier, a little meatier. As it says, American biscuits, not called scones, but they look similar. They're called biscuits. American biscuits are usually savory with a bit more salt rather than sugar, made without egg, and often used in fast food breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, so if you go to a McDonald's or somewhere like that and get their breakfast sandwich, the bread part might be one of these biscuits. As it says, many people grab a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit on their morning drive to work. Think you of those. And you gotta go with the sausage. Go the, the sa sausage. Sausage and the egg. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's Think the of way those classic Taiwanese breakfast sandwiches. This is sort of the American version, especially in the South, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of a Southern American cooking thing. Also, just biscuits and gravy. Biscuits People and have gravy. that. Another classic thing. Something you can grab on your way to work. A lot of fast food is made so that you can grab it on your way somewhere, either on the way home, on the way to work. If you grab something, you're basically just getting something, but the idea is you're kind of doing it quickly. There's this idea of convenience, you know, 7-Eleven convenience stores are great because you can grab something on the way home. It doesn't take a long time to get there. You don't have to park. It's not a big store. It won't take you 45 minutes to do your shopping. You go in there, you grab it. And the force, and the use of force, that, that's optional. Yeah, grabbing could also be snatching something, like you might grab something away from a baby before it hurts itself. But here we're talking about something that you can get very easily and quickly. For example, go grab some drinks from the fridge before we go. Don't spend five minutes going, oh, what do I feel like drinking? Well, I'm not quite sure. No, just go, look, Grab. take, get Grab out. Grab some, let's go. That's Come on, it. let's get moving. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Mm. However, mm. trying to order this kind of sandwich in Britain might be confusing because their biscuit means cookie. So if you asked a British person, can I have my breakfast sandwich on a biscuit? they would give you a chocolate chip cookie with an egg and sausage on top, which would not be good. And they would look wait, at wait, you wait, like wait, crazy. Wait, wait, Could you just say that wouldn't be good? Mm -hmm. I'm salivating thinking about that. <laughs> really? I'm gonna make one of those when I go home. Sausage, egg, wow. and chocolate chip chocolate cookies? Chocolate chip chocolate. Oh, you are American. Reminds me of like the KFC <laughs> Double Down. No. Oh man. Don't go there. Innovation. Don't, I love it. Don't do Anyways, that. Let's talk about the verb confuse before we take a break. If you don't know what to think, you are confused. Maybe someone gives you directions. They say, huh? okay, you need to go ahead and turn left here and then right there, and then you turn left again, and, and you, you've made it. Now, in your mind, you think, hey, I know exactly what's going on, but then you get confused. You think, wait, should I have turned right or left? And did I turn left at the right place? I don't know what to think anymore. I am confused. For example, the directions you sent Hannah confused her. Mm. Anyways, it's time for us to take a break. During the break, I will be making the most delicious sandwich in the history of the world. 好，我们来看看其他地方的司康吃法。在苏格兰，马铃薯司康是跟早餐一起吃的。那么美国人吃的比斯吉 （biscuit） 就类似传统的英国司康，不过美国的比斯吉通常是咸的，常常是用在素食的早餐三明治里面，用它来夹香肠、鸡蛋、cheese 之类的。那么人们早上开车上班比较匆忙的时候，他就直接抓一个比斯吉三明治来吃，这样又快又方便。好，单字 grab。Grab 就表示抓住或是攫取。老师们有提到一个动词叫 snatch，s n a t c h。snatch 表示抢走或者是迅速的夺取。那么刚刚赵老师聊到，在美国，比斯吉上面常常会淋肉汁，这种吃法很美味哦。然后你也不用去计较说上面要先放什么配料，不用那么麻烦。好，老师说的 gravy，g r a v y，gravy 就是肉汁。那么 topping。T O P P I N G topping 可以指配料，常常是用来指糕点、披萨等等上面放的一些装饰配料。好，那课文接着提醒我们，在英国。
biscuit， 意思是饼干哦。所以如果你人在英国，却想要点那个美国那一种比斯基三明治，你可能会让英国人觉得很困惑。人家搞不好以为你想要巧克力饼干，然后加香肠 cheese 蛋，这样听起来口味超怪的。Charles 老师开玩笑说，他是想试试看这种创新吃法，他想到都流口水了。好 ，salivate 就是流口水，这个字是拼作 s a l i v a t e。Salivate， 还有 innovation 可以指创新、革新或者新的发明。这个字是拼作 i n n o v a t i o n innovation。那这边还有一个单字是 confuse， confuse 表示使什么困惑、令人费解的意思。这句话课文中 ，A short history of the humble scone. There's no one right way to eat a scone, no matter how you prefer them. Everyone can agree on one thing: the best scone is served fresh and hot, straight from the oven. Okay, everyone. There's no, there's no one right way to eat a scone. Now, people in England might tell you that there actually is the right way to eat this or that type of scone, but you know what? Go for it. Just eat the thing. And enjoy it. No matter how you prefer them, everyone can agree on one thing: the best scone is served fresh and hot, straight from the oven. Absolutely, and they're fairly easy to make. So why not try it at home and then have them fresh and hot with whatever you want on top of them? Just make sure they're straight from the oven, but give them a little time to cool. You don't want to burn your fingers or your mouth. But yes, try them out. All right, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed our talk about scones, and maybe you're going to grab one soon. You won't regret it. Here's our question, though, before we finish: How do you like to enjoy a scone? No way, Mike. You're the Anglophile here. How do you like to enjoy a scone? Are you a Cornish guy or a? Devon, definitely Devonian. I think maybe I'm Cornish. I usually、okay. eat scones with jam and cream, jam then cream. But sometimes I'll have one with yeah, maybe some egg or bacon for breakfast. That that can be good too. But really, you can have them with almost anything. Maybe even some Marmite. Okay, folks. With that. I'm going to say goodbye and、uh, look up what Marmite is. But be careful. 好，看了这两天的课文，就可以了解到思康的吃法有很多种，没有什么是正确的吃法。那么课文就写到说，无论你喜欢怎么吃，每个人都会同意一件事：最好的思康就是热腾腾、刚烤好的，直接从烤箱里面端出来那一种。好，这边有两个重点，第一个是 no matter 加上 w h 疑问词，是用来引导让步副词子句，表示无论什么什么，不管什么什么，像 no matter what。无论什么 ，no matter where， 无论在哪 ，no matter when， 无论何时等等。例如 ，no matter where he goes， he always carries his camera with him。无论他去哪，他总是随身带着相机。第二个重点是动词 agree， 它表示持相同意见或是认同。那我们可以用 agree on something 来表达对某事物取得一致的意见，对什么什么有共识。例如。They can't agree on where to eat. 他们对于要去哪里吃饭没办法取得共识。那补充一下 ，agree with somebody 则是表达跟某人意见一致，同意某人的说法。像是 I agree with Melvin， 就是我赞同 Melvin 的说法。那么最后两位老师们在讨论 What do you think 的问题时 ，Jeff 老师开玩笑的称呼这个 Mike 老师是 Anglophile， 意思是亲英派、崇尚英格兰文化的人。他认为，呃 ，Mike 老师这么亲英、这么喜爱英格兰，应该由他来回答怎么吃思康。那么 Anglophile 其中这个 P H I L E 就有喜爱、喜好者的意思哦。好，那么 Mike 老师他就有提到说。斯康可以搭配 Marmite 马麦酱，那这种酱呢是由酵母提炼制成的深色酱料。有些人觉得它很臭，不敢吃；有些人非常爱，所以它是一种又爱又恨的料理了。好，那我们以上的课程讲解，谢谢同学们收看，我们下次见喽，拜拜。See you next time.